what's up? This is Jag May off Sports Post Podcast, and pretty good weekend. Last time we we uh, talked was Friday, and right after that podcast, turns out that MB got injured, and if you are a Philadelphia 76ers fan, that is pretty concerning because even though he's only out for two or three weeks, if you took a look at that play, that was a really, really nasty fall. And if you follow the NBA, also follow his career, you notice that he is very injury prone. And so that is very concerning for the Philadelphia 76ers. Luckily, they have Dwight Howard as a, as in a backup. So he will play a lot of minutes for the next, I'm guessing, month. Um, speaking of which... Kevin Durant is still out for another two or three weeks nursing a hamstring injury and um, the Nets want to be careful on that. Anthony Davis is out for another three weeks. Um, I think the Lakers are postponing and basically delaying his return because they want to they're really concerned, overly cautious, and rightfully so because it was almost Achilles tear. Luckily, it wasn't because it was a very short off season for the Lakers. They won the championship, and then what? Like a month later, they had to go back into training camp. So it's pretty concerning if you're a Lakers fan. But luckily, they are giving him a lot of time. KD. I don't even think they need KD right now because they have Kyrie Irving who's bowling and James Harden who's bowling as well. So that is the injury front. Now we still have what transpired yesterday. It was a bit of a like um, shocking upset. A couple upsets last night. Uh, you had the Bulls, the Pelicans, the the Warriors. And uh, OKC Thunder. So I did not expect that. And I'm pretty sure anyone who bet on on these games did not expect that as well. So we'll talk about that in the podcast later to that tonight. Also, we want to talk about um, trade rumors and whatnot. So basically what it is is uh, trades or buyouts LaMarcus Aldridge he's rumored to be either a buyout or trade and same thing with Andre Drummond Andre Drummond linked to New York Knicks because they want to give him a lot of a lot of years rightfully so so they might trade for him I'm not 100% sure and then and then sign him to a long-term deal and LaMarcus Aldridge is linked to the Boston Celtics Boston Celtics can slide him right into the trade exception for about $25 million which is everybody's waiting on Danny Ainge to finally find some guts and do it I'm not sure that he will and so that is it for the trade front then you also have like guys like PJ Tucker, Eric Gordon you'll hear their names thrown around here and there for the NHL um, we have now, I did not discuss this last time, but as of right now, Toronto Maple Leafs fell from first place down to fifth. That's how tight the number one spot is, the top, the top five spots for number one. So we have the Islanders who've won their last nine games, and then you have the Tampa Bay Lightning who are winning, or sorry, not winning, but they're, they're playing right now. They're down 3 nothing to the Nashville Predators, and they're number two. They're, sick. they're sitting in the second spot. So it's very, very tight. Then you have, um, oh, sorry, they're number three. Carolina Hurricanes are number two. Carolines have, have won their last eight games. And basically, it's anybody's uh, hockey game, <laughs> our number one spot. It's like... I think uh, Islanders have like something like 42 points and then Carolina has 41 and then 
um, Lightning has 41 or 40, and it just it's very very close. So Hurricanes are surging. Toronto Maple Leafs have lost their last two. They're slipping a little bit. Um, Oilers have uh, passed uh, the Canadians, and they somewhat seem to be surging. And I think it's the fact that they beat Ottawa seven to one that night. And it's I know it's just one game, but like you can't really say they're surging. Surging is meant for a top spot, so you know, like gunning for the top spot. So I don't, I can't if. I wouldn't say they're surging. I say they're 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 climbing up up, up the ranks. But uh, surging is meant for teams like Carolina Hurricanes, New York Islanders, or um, uh, Tampa Bay Lightning. One one of the, one of those three teams. So we'll discuss all that in the podcast tonight. This is Jag Mangit, and it is March fifteenth, two thousand twenty one.